Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you an amazing graphic design resource which will give you endless opportunities to create lots and lots of designs and how you can use those resources in Word. So I'm going to hop onto the internet and I'm going to go to this fantastic website called SVG, which is obviously the name of a file, S-I-L-H, which is short for silhouette. And all this content here is released under Creative Commons, which means that you can use all of these resources for your own use or commercial. Now, when you use these resources, you can see here, you can see here there are some popular images. Now, of course, they're all silhouettes, but what you can do at the top is you can change the color of those silhouettes within the website. So as I click through the different colors, you can see it will change the silhouettes. And of course up here you've got your search bar. So you literally have so many different options. So I'm going to search for Celtic. I want to show you this option here. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to download this file. You can download it as an SVG or a PNG file. I'm going to download it as an SVG file. That's now gone to my downloads file. Then go into Word, go to Insert, go to Picture, Picture from File. And then in my downloads, you'll see I have the file at the top here and click Insert. So now I've inserted that image very, very easily into my Word document. Now to allow me to move this file around, because you can see at the moment it won't move, make sure it's selected, make sure you're on graphics format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. And now you can move it around your document. Now the other great thing about these files is how you can customize them. So let's just zoom in a little bit. So currently, this is just one design. So if I want to change the color, I've selected it, go up to Graphics Format, go along to Graphics Fill, and let's just select a color. And the whole thing will change color, which is fine, but if we just go back one step, we can actually divide this design up. And the way to do that is to select it, make sure you're on Graphics Format, and go along to Convert to Shape. Once you've done that, you can actually click on each individual part of your design, which means that you can delete parts of it, and also you can color parts of it. Now if I click on this central star, go up to Shape Format, and go along to Format Pane. Now here, there is a menu that you can fully customize this shape in the middle, in much the same way that you would customize any shape. So if you go to Fill, this is the fill color. So let's change this, let's say, to yellow. And then you've also got line, which is actually the border line around the outside. So let's select solid line. Let's go down to orange. And then we can use this width option here and the up arrow here and increase the size of the border around the outside. And if we go back over, you can see that I've managed to change the color of the star in the middle. And I've also managed to change the color of the border and also introduce a border. And of course, you can do that with any part of this design. And then don't forget, it's not just this design, but there's plants and insects and all sorts of things on the website. Once you've now created your design, you can add words to it. So let's just insert a text box and choose Celtic. Oh. Let's go and increase the font size just very quickly. Once you're in the text box, let's go down and so we can move it around. We need to do the wrap text again. So click on the box, go up to wrap text in front of text. Now we can move the box around. See, it's got a white background, so let's get rid of that quickly. Make sure you've selected the text box. Go up to shape format, down to shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. Okay. Now, once you've done this, 
if you want to export this as an image, you can't export text as it is at the moment. What you have to do is copy and paste it, but paste it as an image. So if I'm happy with the text as it is, then what I need to do is go up to the Home tab and press Copy. Let's check off that. Go to Paste, Paste this picture. OK, and here we have, again, we have to right click, go down to Wrap Text, in front of text. Let's get rid of this one. Now, once you've pasted this as a picture, you can't go inside and edit the text. It's now a, an image. It's no longer text. So the reason for that is because you cannot save text as a picture. So let's just say you wanted to save this whole thing as a picture, an image or an SVG file. Click on the text image, hold your command or control key down and click on your design. Go up to group and select group. This is now just one item. Right click, go down to save as picture. And now you can save this as an SVG file, which is very commonly used in design programs. You can also save it as a PNG, JPEG, PDF, GIF to use in whichever programs you want to. But if I save it as an SVG file and click save, let's get rid of this. Go to insert, picture, picture from file. There's my picture, click insert. And now this is just an image. And there we go. You've saved your design as an SVG file and that can be used for numerous different things such as t-shirts, mugs, posters, cards, all sorts of designs. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.